so I was given $150,000 to make my YouTube school the pinnacle of education. Why is everything so broken? A special thank you to Pathia and PM Studios for actually sponsoring. Thank you. My qualifications for school fixer upper headmaster man, probably non-existent, but that's fine. At least I know how to click buttons until things work. What kind of headmaster do you want to be? I want students from all over. I'm inclusive and extremely lonely. Plus, if the students like me, who knows, one of them might go on to be the next Apple, and then I get free things. But let me get my first classroom down, a little shabby podium. Can go right here. I think that fits the most amount of students. Oh god, I, I have it wrong. And then start squeezing in some seats. A good 20 students per class should work. And then here you guys go. Hang your lunch bags up there. Maybe I should also move that blackboard over there. And now this game actually has a ton of design options in it. For instance, I can build my own windows. How I see fit. And then nothing like a little overhead lighting to make everyone have a headache, but hey, at least the room's lit up. Wait, I just built this entire classroom. I forgot to go and get my student applications. All right, well, hey, Miss Lynn, I'll assign you to be the homeroom teacher. Uh, I'll find your students eventually. And wow, all of these applicants to be new teachers suck. Look at these stats, all red, are you kidding me? Gross. All right, I can establish an admissions office. So let's do just that. Wow, I got so many students already. Everyone's gonna give me 450 bucks to come learn random stuff I find on Google. Sweet. And oh, Karen actually shows potential. And she's much cheaper than everyone else. You're hired, friend. YouTube school truly is the hope to change our lives. Don't I know it, buddy? Now, I've already had complaints from students about the fact that there's no restrooms or drinking fountains or anything else in this room, which is why it's the perfect time to make the women's restroom. Can put it over here, squeeze in a couple toilets, and then a simple little sink. Done there. Men's restroom, you're getting the same treatment. Smack all those down. Another little sink in there. Does lighting matter in the bathroom? Probably. Maybe we put some lights in there, huh? Now every spot, of course, needs a tea room, which is why I will very unprofessionally make one sort of like that and a single wooden door. It's tea time. You're here to study, not drink. Also, there's no spot for a large wooden door to look good. And I'm trying to make this aesthetic for you guys, dang it. All right, students, time to learn your schedule. Everyone become members of class 1-1. And uh, I'm just gonna hit these on rotation and hope my students come out okay. Let the first day of school commence. Is everyone having fun? learning. Seems like a lot of people are outside instead of learning. Oh, I'm getting money and achievement points because I built a new facility. Go me. Now there's more than just classroom and bathrooms that I can make. For instance, this is the management department. Probably doesn't even need to be this big, but that's fine. UT full. Miss Lynn is the only one who's qualified to become a manager. That's fine. I'll have to train someone later. Can place another room down to be my research room. Just build all my required items. And now soon I'll be able to have things run automatically and research a bunch of new facilities thanks to me getting all this down. Oh, what is this? Are they gossiping? Karen, go be fitting to the name. Get them. No bad students gaming or whatever on my watch. That is, oh wow, exclamation point and everything. <laughs> For my first day, I gotta say, I feel like things are going pretty well. Do I have more? Oh, yes, more money. Way to go, me. Upgrade reward. What did I get? Hi. Statues? And, oh, there's five new students. Mark and Jeffrey, you guys are in. Everyone else is forgetful, but I'll accept everybody. I've also got goldfish brain, so really, who am I to judge? All of you in the class 1-1. One, one. And look at all these things I can unlock through research. Oh, a food tent is probably a pretty good one to have, huh? How are we looking at our applicants? Laura, you're cheap. Thank you. And let me just fire all of you so you guys don't pop up anymore. Laura, can you be a manager? No, that's fine, Laura. You can be the new chief researcher now. Start on my food tent, please. That'll take three days. It's gonna take you three days to Google food tent and then order one? All right. I guess while my students go to campus, I can work more on, uh, well, making my area look nice. Can I get, oh, no, what's going on? Headmaster, is there anywhere I can buy some food? I've got great news. Wait three days. Let me tighten up this path a little bit. And now, what? There's something else going on? What's happening now? I don't even know. Students are secretly playing a video game. How dare they? Karen, you're my pro. Go get them. <laughs> I gotta say my path coming along nicely. It's a little fat though. Well, I guess there's gonna be a lot of students walking in at once, so that'll be fine. Also kind of need to stretch a path over here, like so, for all of our school assemblies. And then throw in some fake grass everywhere. The world does not need to be this barren. We have lawn mowers for a reason. No need to be afraid. And I'll throw a couple trees down too, just cause I can. We've got $150,000. You think I'm not gonna spend part of it? What's going on here? Students acting up? You have to be reprimanded. I'm sorry. I follow a carrot and stick approach. 
It's when you give him a carrot and then beat him with a stick. <laughs> oh, Headmaster, your office is terrible. I'm sorry. Let me- Oh god, I broke the roof. I didn't mean to do that. How do I- How do I fix that? Can I- No, lower it. Do you go- Does that work? No? Oh god. And fixed. Looks good as new, right? Sorry about that, Headmaster. Why is this room busted too? What's going on there? Actually, idea. What if I were to make a staircase that led up and then just deleted these roof pieces? Because then I could make all of this buildable space. And then some might ask, Kate, are you just doing this to cover up that roof mistake? No. I'm not. I'm not embarrassed by it. These are good changes. This is for the school. All right, how's the class going? Everyone looking good? 12 estimated fails. Why? Oh, there's there's no art exam. All right, new plan. Two science, two humanities. Two science, two humanities. Two science, two humanities. There we go. Now it looks like everyone will pass. Oh God, why is my floor so disgusting in there? Uh, yeah. I guess I forgot that I kind of need like decent little hygiene tools for things. We can just throw those down. Maybe I should uh, start putting trash cans in rooms also. All right, Karen, since you're free, you're going to be trained in management. Go get them. And oh, three new students. You're all welcomed. And I, oh, I don't have a sports teacher yet with good training capability. You're on the team, buddy. Donald, eh, you can be a researcher. Donald, get to thinking about stuff. Actually, Ronald, you might as well too. No one needs extracurricular sports stuff quite yet. But the people do need their food truck, which actually is almost halfway there. Well done me. Who put a random thing there? Get these dang flower beds down. I don't know. It's they're like an aesthetic with guardrails that they don't even guard anything. They, they're not guarding. They're walking right through. You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to have them there as suggestions. I'm also, are you kidding me? I'm also going to put a stone lion down. What else do we got out here? A pavilion? Yeah, sure. Set that like that. Dude, this looks cool. I think I did a nice job. I also had to modify the schedule to fit one more lit class in because there were four estimated fails, but now everyone's going to pass. Probably. Karen, how's your training going? It's almost done. Good. I need this management position. Hey, what are we doing here? Huh? Secretly gaming? Wrong. Linda, go get him. Oh, my food tent's done. Sweet. In that case, let's unlock a playground next. It's important for students to be happy. And what else did I get? Some merit trophies? Gimme. I like to think everything's coming along pretty nicely in this world. I do also like to think that I need to make my food tent. I don't know, six by ten right outside? Sure, just get that down. Students need some seating. And I don't know, apparently this pile of stuff is necessary for the food cart. Oh, Karen, you're done training. Lovely. In that case, the the one meat, two veggie combo is now on sale. And I have no nutritionist, but that's fine. Karen, are you qualified? No, not yet. That's okay. Go to my staff list. Go to Karen. Go to train teacher. Get your management up. Who's this guy? I don't know. I kind of need like another person to run the food stand so he can help. Oh, and the teachers just requested a break room. Do I have that in my thing? No, I got to research it. That's okay. I just built my school flag to calm me down. It's a little kiwi in some circles. I customized it that way. All right, well, researchers, research harder, I guess, because I still need that break room. I've kind of redesigned my outer area to have some fences so things are boundaried. And Karen's still unqualified. I'm sorry, I can buy a cat house? Delete this random box. Cat house. Does I mean I'm going to be able to get one of those one day? That'd be nice. I'm sorry. Is this student doing jumping jacks? What is that? What? Why did they do that? I don't... Huh? I mean, sure, that's fine, I guess. Also, Albert, sorry, get to work over there, buddy. That was intriguing. Um, horrifying, also, might I say. Also, I'm going to squeeze in a stairwell so people can actually come up to this top floor. I mean, there's nothing here right now, but still. And am I making money off my students right now? Yes, I knew this plan would work. Ooh, my playground's done, too. Continue the research. I need a staff break room. Here we go. That'll only take half a day, luckily. Let's do a little future planning because I can add another classroom door in right here, except for for that corner I don't want to exist. Actually, like that. I can squeeze the door in here this way. There's gonna be a smaller, more elite unit of students, I think. And drop back in. Karen, are you still unqualified? Please, Karen. How's your training coming? Uh, it's at least almost done. I'm not having any major issues. What is, uh, what? What, <laughs> what is this? Why is that person on the well? Did you drop something in the well? A student, maybe? They seem to play on it. What? It was a student. Uh, okay, hang on. Wait, suddenly I'm going to go with gold. How deceitful I am. Oh, that's just being mean. Maybe meet again. Farewell. Okay. You don't have to come out. That was actually horrifying for me. I'm going to need to talk to a specialist. Is this my new student? Whoa! 
I got a stray cat. Give me- I'll name you after my real cat. Get on in there, buddy. Ooh, new teacher with good potential. Recruited. Isn't there- Yes, cat food and bowl. There you go, buddy. Put a cat tower right in here. A cat litter box. You know what? Also be in the hallway, sure. The kitty on the podium for the day. All right, playground time. If the food mart's over there, let's put my playground in this back left corner. But to do that, kind of need to clear some trees. Minimum 30 squares. Don't worry, buddy. It can be a nice 100 of them. Put the cattery in there. Everyone needs a good old slide, like so. A little seesaw out front. The gate can go right there. Yet, yeah, sure, some tire chairs in the corner. This looks good. Let me just get a nice little pathway for it. Uh, do I even have to do anything with the playground now? I think it's just done doing itself. Oh, okay, no. A student actually did fall into this well again, I think. Uh, this time, neither of them did. What do you have to say to that? Oh, I'm honest. Thank you. Oh, they're both mine? You giving me students? Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry I said those bad things about you. Oh, and yeah, my staff break room's done. Yes. All right, work on a junior humanities course, because I think that's what we need next, is just better classes. All these students can go into class 1-1, one, one, and now I can make my staff break room just quickly while the day resets. Get a door in there, a nice little couch, coffee cart, another couch, motivational hanging things, put a full-on coffee table between those, and a couple lone seating chairs. Put this mugshot photo in here again. There we go, I think that looks nice. You actually can look at the rooms themselves and kind of get a breakdown on how you score if you really want to make some of the perfect rooms. And Karen's training's done. Surely now she's unqualified. All right, Karen, you're back again. It's causing me two grand. Please, Karen, I'm begging you. George, you're decent enough. Come on. I think I've kind of gotten everything to run automatically without me. And there's only two days left of exams. How are we doing scholastically? Everyone seems to be doing pretty strong. Wow. Well done, team. I got myself another quest to claim. And now I think what I can do for this big old second floor is make a five by five second tea room. As students really kind of seem to like tea. Oh, my humanities course is done. Sweet. Let's work on school reform next. Pre-class, everyone pays tuition, gets right on about their day. I've got two more teachers. Lisa shows crazy promise. Welcome in. Michael, I'll find a random job for you. Actually, I'll find a random job for you both, probably. There you go. You're on the research team. Wait, George, you're qualified to be a manager? Sure. Now I can take that management department, put the class underneath it, as well as I think the research department, and that should just help run things all together. Karen, you can be the new homeroom teacher. And there's half a day left to the exam? Oh, Oh, cool. Thanks for being done with your training. Just a little too late. <laughs> hey, no doing random stuff. Get talked to by Miss Lynn. Actually, Miss Lynn has crazy training potential. Upgrade your training proficiency, please. We'll look at the little kitty sleeping. New job application, Walter. Great potential. Low salary. You're in. Those are the two things I look for. And Miss Lynn already trained her proficiency up so she can train it some more. People apparently don't like the food. Fine. Switch to the charcoal bun. Hopefully that, all this, whoa. Did that just say I could expel students? I would, but like the exam is literally about to start. You guys got it. Just remember what I taught you. All you have to do is write down the correct answers. And that's, oh, 15 of them passed? Who were the two that failed? No, they were one short on humanities. But I still did an excellent job and got a ton of points for it. Sweet. Thank you, my students, for working so hard at this school that I built. Give me a bunch of delicious money. And my school reputation leveled up. It's like a dream come true. Do we have seven new students? You're all in. Let me add your new classroom and just copy this schedule on over. And now thanks to the new exam starting, I can actually use this top room, making even more money than before. But also students are learning, which is the important part, totally. <laughs> and it's a time for me to give a speech. Uh, okay, I've, I've never done this before, friends. And it's, oh, yes, I'm already going up. It was, well, it's still kind of bad. Let's go with the friendly opening. And that seems to have gotten them up plus 10, yes. Let's talk about the academics of it all. Oh, my, everyone's loving it. Everyone did amazing, except for those two students. And sure, let's give a thousand dollar scholarship out to one random student too. Why not? We've got the budget for it. And that was, okay, there's, they're going super saiyan. How tall is this one student? Oh my gosh. All right, one big, long, loud cheer, everybody. We got this. They loved it. I'm just, I'm the best headmaster of all time. And if you think you can be a better headmaster than me, there is a link for the description in the game down below. I highly recommend you check it out. I've had a blast. There's still so much more stuff to even do and explore and even build that I just haven't touched on. The game is available on Steam. And if you need me, I'll just be placing some bookshelves down.